Hi everyone, so today we will make this EMI calculator web page using JavaScript. We'll get input like this principal amount, then interest rate, and then number of years, and then we will get the EMI in the alert box. Okay, so here it is. Now let us write the code. So, first of all, we will go to the new text document, then we will save this as uh, your file name dot html so for the extension html we will save it as save as type all files okay so now we have saved it as emi dot html we will first of all write html and then we will go to the javascript and we will write the script inside the body also we will use the center alignment so that everything that we are gonna print is shown in the center alignment so let us start so html okay so now center tag so that everything that we are going to show on the web page is having the alignment as center okay so and then we will have the title as pritam score journal inside the head tag only so let us proceed okay so pritam's code journal okay so now we'll close the title here and then in the h1 only we will write the emi calculator by using the javascript and also the uh, pritam score journal uh, in the mark so that uh, that line moves on the web page okay so now h1 uh, as emi calculator okay and then we will have the style in the h1 only we will write it later so in javascript doesn't seem right so we will just have using javascript inside the brackets okay so now we will close the h1 and then we will also write the style so let us go ahead so h1 style equals to let us say font size as 3 em and color as white so after that 3 em we have to write the semicolon and after the color also we have to write the semicolon and the double quotes for the style completion and we should be careful with the spelling of color because in the html the color has to be c o l o r okay so now we will write the h2 but we will write that inside the mark queue so we will start the mark queue and then let us close it here only and then we will write the h2 inside this with the style and font size and the color too so let us write the h2 here so h2 close and then we will write pritam score journal inside this so that this line pritam score journal is moving on the web page because of mark you so code journal okay so we will set the style for h2 now so let me just copy paste this thing so s is not included let us select it again okay so control c control v and then over here let us change the color from white to let us say red okay so now we will start writing the body with the background color as cream so bg color equals to cream and then we will give the instruction like enter the principal amount enter the interest rate and enter the number of years we will use two br tags so that two lines are left vacant and then enter the principal amount the instruction is shown to the user and an input field of let us say type number is shown after this okay so let us write it down so input type equals to number and we will give this uh, id as principal only so let us write it down so type equals to number and name equals to principal so that we will get the value of this id in the javascript by using the get element by id and we will pass this id principal and dot value so that this value is saved in another variable in the javascript okay so let us copy paste this thing and then we will update it like enter the interest rate so enter the interest rate and then we will change this id and we will set it as iry that is interest rate per year and then enter the number of years so number of years okay and then we will set the id as years over here so y r s okay so now we will have two br tags 
so that uh, two lines are left vacant and then we will make a button on clicking which a function is called uh, from the javascript that is let us say the name of the function is pritam emi js okay and then we will have print emi the instruction shown on the button so we will close this and then we will write print emi okay let me just okay print emi and then we will close the button over here okay and then we will start writing the script now now first of all in the script if the button was clicked then it will go directly to the function so we have to write the function directly in the script now so function and the name of that function that is pritam emi js so function pritam emi js okay and then inside this i will get the value of principal interest rate and the number of years inside another variable so let us say the first variable for principal is p so p equals to document dot get element by id means the id uh, which was like principal and that principal's value is stored inside the variable p okay so let us copy paste this thing for the interest rate and the number of years so control c and then control v okay we will update over here because we have another id as iry you can see over here and then we will update over here let us say the variable name is iry and then we will do the same for the number of years so we have the id for that as years and we will name over here the variable as yr okay so now we have to get the interest rate of per month so we will have another variable as irm which will be equal to the iry divided by 12 star 100 okay and then we will get the number of months also so we have to like multiply the number of years into 12 to get the number of months okay so let us write this down first so iry divided by 12 star 100 for the interest rate per month and then a number of months which is equal to years star 12 okay so now we will calculate the emi so emi is equals to the principal amount into the interest rate which is multiplied with the one plus interest rate raised to the power of months and this whole thing divided by one plus interest rate raised to the power of number of months and minus one okay so let us write this down first and for the power function we have to use the math dot pow okay so math dot pow and then first parameter raised to the power of second parameter that is one plus interest rate which is having the power as number of months so same for the denominator so math dot pow one plus irm raised to the power of rm and then minus one okay so now alert monthly installment equals to EMI equals to and we will pass that variable EMI so that the value of this variable is shown so now we will close the script and then also the body and HTML2 so now okay so in the denominator uh, for math.pow 1 plus irm which is having the power as mn so we will update it okay so update that too let us go ahead now we will get our beautiful web page after clicking this okay so here is our emi calculator that we created using javascript and uh, let us say the principal amount is 10 lakhs interest rate is 12 and number of years is 10 so print emi and then monthly installment is 14347.09 rupees okay so let us enter another set of values so let us say we have the principal amount as 9 lakhs okay and interest rate is 11 okay and then number of years is let us say 15 so emi 
and then monthly installment that is EMI equals to 10,229.37 rupees okay we got this alert box because we used the alert and then the instruction plus the value of EMI was passed inside this we have the EMI calculator in the H1 in the H2 we have the Pritham score journal which is moving because of MarQ then we have input fields with uh, type number okay and then on clicking this button that is print EMI uh, the function was called and in that function we got the values of these three values that we entered and then the EMI was calculated and printed in the alert box so let us uh, see the source code now so now let us go to our notepad okay so we have the center tag for the center alignment then title Pritham score journal then h1 and h2 inside the head only then we started the body with background color as cream then we got the values and then on clicking that button we went to the function and we closed the script inside the body only okay and then inside the script we wrote the functions description or the body of the function and then we got the value of the variables principal interest rate and the number of years then we calculated the monthly interest rate and the number of months and by using the formula of the EMI we got the value inside the variable EMI and then we showed that value to the user using the alert monthly installment that is EMI arrow plus EMI plus EMI because we have to pass the value of that variable EMI okay so here was a small JavaScript program for EMI calculator so thank you guys for watching the video do like share and subscribe also comment down below if you are having any doubts or you want me to make video on a particular program or topic and if you want to access complete video series on a programming language then go to my playlist section or you can check the playlist link inside the description of this video and you can directly access those videos and those are very beginner friendly so if you are from a uh, non coding background and see those videos then you can become a pro by practicing the code with me so see you all in the next video till then have a great day stay blessed worry less and code more bye bye